In this video, we're going to be describing pretty much everything you need to know about the CAT 3306 diesel engine. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Update channel, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the much requested CAT 3306 diesel engine. Now, people have been messaging me for a long time to discuss this engine. I've been waiting for one to be in the shop so I could do a full video walk around and get a lot of footage on it. However, I haven't seen one in the shop and I haven't been able to work on one in several years, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to do an in-depth walk around one. But I do have some footage from 3306s in the past, both pictures and videos. I've also been able to pull a lot of information from online, from Caterpillar. So even though we're not gonna have a detailed walk around, we're still gonna have a picture walk around and discuss all the components of it problems I know about that they had, and what's good and what's bad about these engines, all right? So let's get into it. So as a quick overview of the CAT 3306 engine, it's an inline six Caterpillar diesel engine produced in the 1970s up through the 1990s, and it was their mid-range engine, basically. However, they did make a 3304, which would have been a four-cylinder version. Same basic principle, just obviously two cylinders shorter. It had a bore of 4.75 inches and a stroke of 6.0 inches. So it would be under square, as they say. So it's not a real high revving engine. Displacement of 638 cubic inches, which is 10.5 liters. Firing order standard diesel 153624. Valve lash was 15 thousandths intake and 25 thousandths on the exhaust. And it was a counterclockwise rotation like most diesel engines. Okay, so we'll put a picture kind of right here so we can see what one looks like. And if you've ever seen a 3406, you may notice that, hey, it looks very similar. These are, you can tell, designed by the same people. Uh, so first thing we'll notice is, what? what is that? What is that? That is a white filter. Stop using non-cat filters. Let's fix this. Okay, so we fixed that problem already. So let's identify going from left to right what we're looking at here. So we're on the intake side of the engine, obviously. The first thing you'll see, uh, which is here, is the water pump. The water pump's on the front, and the water pump is a gear-driven water pump. Now, one of the couple problems I'm personally familiar with on the 3306 is the water pump gears can actually break off the shaft. And if you get one that overheats very quickly, that's one thing you can check right away is that the shaft is not connected to the actual peller on the water pump. And if that's the case, you obviously need to replace the water pump, which is not very hard to do. Above that, we have our thermostat housing. Then it, would, then it goes up to the intercooler, which is what makes it look like a 3406 because a lot of them have the same similar design looking intercooler. And that basically takes coolant and it, as your boosted air is fed in, it cools it down. That comes back around and getting to where the filter is, you have your really, really tiny oil cooler, which runs right there next to it. Now, if you had an air compressor, it's going to be between the front structure and the oil filter housing right there. So that's basically all there is on this side of the engine. Let's get to the other side of the engine. All right, so this is our exhaust side of the engine. And look at that. Okay, so that's been fixed. So one of the things that you can identify a 3306 from a 3406, even though that the intercooler looks similar, two of the easiest things that make it identifiable is the fuel pump. The fuel pump on a 3306 is on the exhaust side, which would be the right side, or generally the passenger side in a truck. And the other main thing that might be different that you'll find is the valve cover. The valve cover on the 3306 is a single valve cover, whereas on a 3406, they have two different valve covers. Now, these are all mechanical engines. They did not make an electronic. As far as I know, there were no electronic 3306s. They are all mechanical. Similar, they just run the hard fuel nozzles to them. However, on the 3306s, there's a big differentiation between what you could see on what engine you have, whether it's PC, and I don't mean politically correct, and then there's DI. You might see that, 3306 DI or PC. What is PC and DI? Well, DI is pretty much what all diesel engines are now, which is direct injection. The nozzle sprays fuel directly into the cylinder. I made a little animation to kind of explain the difference, so let's watch that. 
So this represents our cylinder head, and then these two lines will represent our cylinder, and then we have our nozzle. This is a normal style direct injection. On a pre-combustion area, it's a little notch in the cylinder head that allows for combustion in this area. Okay, so looking at our 3306 again here, uh, basically, you know, single turbocharger, that was the only option on these. Uh, intake and exhaust are on different sides of the engine. Fuel pump housing here, your starter here. Uh, starter being on the exhaust side is also different. Most of the 3406s, or I believe all of them, were on the intake side, not the exhaust side. Uh, this one has an alternator. They're also gear-driven oil pumps, which are in the pan, unlike the later C10, C12, which had them on the side there. Very simple engine, very, very simple. What are some known problems and good features of this engine? Well, we are comparing it to the 3406 a lot because the 3406 is basically a bigger version of the 3306. Of course, they are different block, different cylinder head, different nozzles, all that stuff. But you can see they were designed by pretty much the same team. If you look at like how the spacer plate is, how the cylinder head is, the block design, the liner design, that's the main feature of this is they have wet liners, unlike a almost identical displacement engine Cat was producing at the very same time. Cat made the 3208, which is an eight cylinder V8 diesel engine, and it was producing, I believe it was a 10.4 liter, this is a 10.5 liter, at the same time. Now, why would they make two different 10 liter engines? Well, the 3306 is a much heavier duty built engine compared to the 3208. The 3208 is much smaller. It's about 1,600 pounds, give or take a couple hundred pounds. Whereas the 3306 is about 2,500 pounds, give or take a couple hundred pounds. Big difference in that. And a lot of that has to do with the wet liner design, but also just the oil capacity, a heavier duty water pump, heavier duty bearings. Everything's heavier duty on the 3306. If you didn't need a big 3406, which was a 14... 6 liter engine you'd get the 3306 they're really good in smaller trucks smaller boats smaller equipment stuff like that great engines they are known to run a long time when i worked in the generator field this is one of the first engines that i worked at in, on i should say in the mid 2000s and they had a lot of them that were about 200 to 225 kilowatt generators and they'd have 20,000 25,000 hours on these engines easily and not really have ever been rebuilt or anything Biggest problems we ran into, I addressed one of them already, was the water pump shafts breaking. But the other one was, and I'm not sure if this was as common on the equipment, on the generators, the front main oil seal would fail a lot. We did a lot of those, and they are very, very hard to do. The front main oil seal on this, which seals the front structure from the crankshaft, when it leaks, of course, it makes a big mess. But the problem is, it's a tapered shaft. So when you remove the, trying to remove the damper off the front is a really, really hard task because they basically seat on much tighter than just a, a normal seated bolt. And to get it off, you'd have to use a heavy, heavy duty puller. And when it finally came off, it was pretty exciting. So what are other known problems on it? Well, personally, I'm unfamiliar with many of the other known problems on them. I have seen quite a few have drop valves though, but on anything that's going to run for 10 15, 20, 25, or 30,000 hours, something's going to fail eventually. And in my experience, I've seen more than one that have a drop valve, but it seems like that's on very, very high mileage engines. So is it a good engine though? Or if you're going to be buying a piece of equipment or a boat or something that has one of these, or you already own one, maybe you're not real familiar with it. Is it a good engine? It's a great engine. It is a really good engine. If you don't have a really big truck or... A really big boat or piece of equipment this engine is great they last a long time they're easy to work on they're easy starting uh, they have some features that are nicer like the 3406 for instance you have to pull the valve covers and it's kind of a pain to change the nozzles if you're going to change the nozzles these you don't have to do that you can pull the nozzles because they don't go under the valve cover they just stick out of the head there Parts for them are still readily available. They last a long time. Uh, like I said, they're already easy to work on. I would take 100 of these over the 3208. Now, the 3208, it's really its own advantage is that it's just smaller. If you needed a really tight space in a 10 liter engine, you'd go with the 3208. But if you have the space, I would always pick this engine over, mostly just due to its longevity and it being easier 
to rebuild it since it has liners, unlike the 3208. Now, why did CAT stop making it in the 1990s? Well, the, thir the 3406 turned into the 3406E, which had a complete changeover with how the cam was designed, how the fuel system was designed. 3208 just went away and was basically replaced by the 3116 and then the 3126, which were smaller but would produce just as much power, and they were inline six engines. And then our friend, the 3306 here, well, Cat decided that it was getting a little long in the tooth and they were just going to design a whole new engine platform. And that was the 3176. The 3176 took the place of the 3306. The 3176 turned into then the C10, C12, which turned into the C11 and the C13. And as you can tell, C10, C12, about the same displacement. And that's kind of unfortunate. However, C13 is my favorite engine, but that's just because I like working on them. They're easy to work on. Whereas a 3306, if I had to pick like a zombie apocalypse engine that couldn't be a 3406, I would pick the 3306. It's great engine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.